This is another video by 358studios.com for all your high quality digital media. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. This is Sean Seymour with 358studios.com. Hey, if you've ever turned on your MacBook Pro and just gotten the spinning gray screen here with an Apple, chances are you've got something going wrong with your boot disk. Now, it could be that uh, maybe you've got a USB drive in, you just need to pull that out, or something else going on, but if you take it down to Apple's Genius Bar and they by chance tell you that your hard drive is not working or is broken and needs replacement, replacing it yourself can save you about $100. It's very quick and simple, and I'm gonna show you how we do it. So the first thing you're gonna do is get yourself a replacement hard drive. I went for a one terabyte, and I went for the hard drive that is like Apple's Fusion Drive. They call it a hybrid. By the way, all your hard drives for your laptops are basically gonna be the same when you're talking about regular drives, not solid state drives. The other thing you're gonna need is a precision screwdriver and a Torx screwdriver, which is just a star head, but you're gonna need a Torx number six. I found both of those tools down at Home Depot. Okay, get yourself a soft towel. Let's go ahead and flip your laptop over and you're gonna take out the 10 screws that are around the perimeter with your precision screwdriver. Pay attention to the three screws that are in the back towards the fan area, which is that black bar in the back of your laptop. They are slightly longer, and you're gonna to wanna to keep track of where those screws went in and where they, or I'm sorry, where they came out and where they go back into. Now you can go ahead and gently lift off the lid. There's no catches or anything, so no worries there. There are four screws that are holding uh, brackets that are holding the hard drive in. You need to loosen those. I actually took the bracket off of one side, but just loosened off the other side and then the hard drive will slip out. You're gonna to have to take the data cable off, so slide that off, and that will release the hard drive completely from the chassis of the laptop. There's also four screws in the side of your hard drive. Um, they have a, a kind of an extension head on them. You need those four screws, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and take those four screws out of the old hard drive and we're gonna use them in the new hard drive. Those screws actually seat down in your laptop there and hold the hard drive securely. This is where you're gonna use the Torx head number six. So it should say T6 on your precision screwdriver there. All right, once you get those four screws out, go ahead and place those four screws back into your brand new hard drive. There should be some holes on the side for them. And then you're going to reattach the data cable. Quick note for those of you who haven't done this before, the data cable actually will only go in one direction and, a, and it has a small tab that will fit uh, perfectly. So once you get the direction correctly, it should just slide in without too much force here. Okay, once you've got the data cable connected, go ahead and seat the hard drive back into the spot where it came out and you'll know that you'll see the uh, extended heads on those screws will sit down nice and flush inside that chassis that holds the hard drive. Tighten up the screws on the hard drive bracket. Okay, grab the back or bottom of your laptop, put that back on, make sure it seats correctly. Sometimes it won't seat correctly. And you're gonna go ahead and replace all the screws that you took out, but this time you're gonna use Loctite. And make sure that you use the Loctite that does not have the super hard holding power. You just want the softer holding power Loctite. Now, when you go to turn your computer on, don't panic. You are going to get an error. That's totally normal. In part two, I'll show you the next step of how you're gonna boot up your Mac with a brand new hard drive. Uh, you'll have to reload the operating system, do a few other things, but that's pretty quick as well. I hope this saved you a little bit of money and I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on part two.